Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And god damn it feels good to do another podcast, you sexy fucking Mento Sticks. See, he says fuck sticks, I say Mento Sticks, but we're all together fuck sticks. And here's guess the, what? Here's the thing. Guess what? Truth or dare, you come up with something better. Dare interrupt me again. I'll have your balls on a satchel from Satchel Pages personal collection. This is our podcast for Truth or Dare. We decided to, when it comes to new releases, to maybe podcast it a little bit. Try to get that whole situation going a little bit. We're going to do the Truth or Dare podcast. And then at the end of this review, we'll go into spoilers for Truth or Dare. Well, there's, there's not many. There's no, not many. It's, it's a pretty easy tale to tell of the darkness inside that theater yeah. of the fucking film. Which I just, I'm going to say this. Talking about what what we call our um, subscribers, friends, fans, whatever you want to call them, we call you guys friends. Alone in our bunks at night. Why are you saying it like Tony Robbins? I'm just saying. Uh, someone commented, and I wish I knew your name right now. I don't have the time to look it up at the moment. But uh, someone said, um, "We are the fuckstick army." That's great. That's a great name. And that's what I said. Yeah, that's we're gonna make T-shirts with a tank on it. That's what I exactly said. I said, "Fuckstick army is beautiful" because we've been calling you guys fucksticks for so long. Fuckstick Army just has that nice ring. There was a time. I feel like we should be apocalypse right now. Everything they have built, we will rip it down. <laughs> so. There was a time like man, we've always like wondered what to call like you guys because we. I mean, it's it's a you know we're more personal I think with you guys than than a lot of you know YouTube podcasts whatever are. And I, I, it always felt weird to like call even subscribers or, or to say like uh, we even talked about like Wham Nation at one point. I was like, that's really corny. That's yeah, corny I like, as fuck. I, we we would be a uh, WWE Raw uh, event that would like <laughs> last a second. Be like these guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Fuck Stick Army is yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's dirty. I it's like provocative. It. it gets the people going. What does it mean? I don't know, but it gets the people going. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing. We're gonna make. And by a, the way, um, shirt. we mentioned this earlier on in a video that we did. And you guys might see this before or I'm after gay. this. Uh, yeah, I'm gay as fuck, and uh, <laughs> that never changed. Uh, I'm so happy with life. <laughs> Dude, you still get comments like we just released a video the other day and some guy was like who's the top and who's the bottom uh, <laughs> like, it's, it's, it like, depends dude, on the day we ain't gay man uh, I mean I wish we were it'd be great I'm happy with life all the time <laughs> but no like Mike has a wife I have a girlfriend but nonetheless if you're gay you know go fuck the butts as much as you can and, and love your life do I don't it, care do it. I love it um, but we already mentioned this and like I, I was getting to is um I want to, before we get into the review, I want to talk about really fast. How gay that, you are? Yeah, again, gay as fuck and loving life. <laughs> uh, that should be a t shirt. Uh, but no. Uh, Suns out, guns out. Whatever. Gay uh, out. Dick fly pole sitter. <laughs> uh, uh, no, look. Uh, I'm not sick, but I'm not well. That's a. Uh, no. A flagpole sitter. I, I know it is. Uh, I like the song. Don't question me. So, uh, 40,000 subscribers, guys. We reached that oh a couple my God. of... Uh, about a day ago. I guess when this podcast... It'd be a couple of days no, ago. On Friday the 13th. Yeah, that That's was amazing. fucking crazy. That's fucking... It's destiny, son. It's destiny. We were called forth by Charles Xavier. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we were stoked as fuck, and we're so happy that we've made that... Uh, you know, we all have made that journey together. You, me, my mom, my, my, <laughs> my ex-fucking slut wife that hope jumps off a cliff. I don't wish death. Um, but anyhow, um, I just hope she becomes a paraplegic. So, oh my god! I'm sorry. I shouldn't oh say these god. things. Like I don't know what these dark thoughts. Oh I have a girlfriend god. now. Fuck her. My girlfriend's way better than she ever was, and she gives great oh, sexual. Sh- oh. But anyway, um, Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, so what I'm saying is, though, that together we've reached this uh, monumental maximum, uh, you know, cliff thing where we're at now at 40,000, and we're going to keep going together. And, and that's the funny thing is that we've, uh, Mike and I, um, he mentioned it in a, a video before that when we got to our, our first 40 subscribers, we were super stoked and so, and so happy about it and couldn't believe it. And now at 40,000, when we see that on our channel, it's fucking mind blowing as well. It's yeah. like, God damn. And you just, I mean, you look at it and you're like, is that real? Like, it's like when you reach Colonel level in Halo 3. You're like, <laughs> I'm Colonel now. Next thing is Brigadier General and then General at 50. But it's wild. It's all because of you guys and that you guys support our goofy fucking asses and that we are able to make you laugh and, 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 and give you a little bit of happiness in some times that you guys are going through that are dark. And we appreciate the shit out of you guys. We love you guys. Uh, we wish we could Skype call each and every one of you and fucking talk about things and show our genitals uh, as Ooh. long as you're overage. Ooh. But either way, uh, love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, helping us reach that. And to the next 
milestone, which would be, I guess, 50,000. And yeah. that's going to be in itself insane. It's crazy, dude. I was talking about this earlier. I, I, I do remember uh, initially when we started this, uh, at one point, being at my mom's house, they were like out of town for the weekend, and I went there to try to work on some videos or whatever. And I, I just saw this is back when we're old school like this is back when you had video reactions on mm -hmm. youtube right and mm -hmm. i remember looking at some stuff like that and i remember seeing we got to 40 like just 40 subscribers and mm -hmm. i was just like dude we have 40 subscribers right and i i, I remember just thinking man will we reach partner well we can finally partner <laughs> on youtube because this is back when like it took like a thousand subscribers to partner on youtube i was like who knows what will happen and it's crazy it's been six years man six fucking years that was a soda we've been doing this it actually was a soda this time Jay. so you know it's the weird. thing is I, I remember when we got to uh 40 subscribers or, or or maybe a little bit after that mike texted me and i was actually walking in walmart with my ex slut and uh <laughs> i showed it to her and i'm like hey look how far we've come she's like i don't give a fuck i'm looking for this man's dick to suck like that's how she was um <laughs> At least she was but, honest yeah, not she didn't say it that's not loud, what she said but i knew that's what she was thinking i knew deep down in her dark core heart that that's what she was thinking <laughs> but either way you know i you know it's just like it, it's so I, I i don't even have the words for it really oh, i mean man. i really don't i mean and i know we're not being like like assholes about it like the fact that the, the 40,000 we're being funny or whatever but it really does mean a lot to us I mean Mike and I have actually both gone through some very bad hard shit uh, to get to 40,000 and you guys have supported us throughout that time there were moments and and time and, you know there were times in the past that we had to take breaks and you know life happens and there's tragic shit that we have to deal with but uh, you know sometimes shit happens and who are you gonna call but it, it means a lot, and and honest, honest to God, really, uh, you know, true hearts, true hearts and farts. Uh, it doesn't matter about anything else except the fact that we all reach the goal together, like together. Like I, I feel like our channel is unique in the fact that we have a community like you guys out there that provide us with such a platform to be able to experience and, and explore the topics of horror or, or uh, you know, superhero movie or whatever it may be and, and have a, a cool ass, like, just, I, I mean, I don't know how else, you know, to really explain it, like a bar atmosphere. Like, you know, you go to yeah. a bar with your best friends and hang out and talk about movies and shit. Yeah. And I think that you guys get that too. And, and that's what makes us, the, the whole channel, all of us together, unique. Because everything else today, if you look at YouTube, they're all self-centered and fucking assholes. And they're worrying about money and, and you know, <clears throat> is my dick going to look good on Instagram? I don't know what they think. Uh, we're definitely not going to be that way. We never have been that way. And I don't think, you know, if we were at a million subscribers, it would be any different. Like, we wake up and eat our Cheerios and, and fucking worry about was our sex good last night with our significant others. And that's what we do. I think it's, I think it's weird, man, because for us, it's never... It's never, none of it has come easy. Like, it's never come easy. Like, we've never, and, and, and I feel prideful about this, because you look back at it, and not, not one time, not one fucking time, if you look at our subscriber growth from six years ago to now, um, there's not, there's never been someone huge that fucking, like, shattered us out, or there's never been one there's moment. There's no cutie pie guy. There's no one moment where we got, like, uh, fucking 10,000 subscribers off of one thing. I don't even care how many we get to. All I care about is that at the end of the day, if you and I can Long do this full fucking time, and we can employ other people to yes. do it with us yes and we can help other people we're gonna do. get to a point where we're gonna all like celebrate in, in a uh, in a bathtub full of butter it's the goddamn goal and by god we're gonna fucking die trying so and thank I, you guys I mean, for you everything. guys are fucking awesome you guys stay sexy you guys stay awesome you guys stay supportive and we're gonna i swear to god we'll never leave you alone in the dark that's a guarantee motel six Leave the lights on. You know what? Because we, we're coming back. Even if we fail and fall flat on our ass and tomorrow we lose 10,000 subscribers and we never gain right. another one, you know what? By God, it's fucking whatever. Like, if we move to different continents, we will... Mike and I would find a way. We'll fucking do a podcast once a year. And hopefully we go further than 40,000. If we don't, we don't. But hopefully we do. And drink a fucking beer for us. We're going to drink beers for you. And we'll continue growing together. I've had several. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so we love your fucking faces. We're going to take a quick break. You won't know it because we'll be back in 12 seconds. Editing magic. Less than that. Um, but uh, And now we're going to actually start our... Yeah, we're uh, actually going to do the review. We're going to do our True the Dare review now. But just we just wanted to say thank you to you guys because you guys are really special to us and, and we really do love you. Every single goddamn one of you. So 
That's that. Mwah. I'd kiss your right on your fucking taint. Yeah, I kiss your taint. <laughs> I kiss your metaphorical taint <laughs> with my cybernetic mouth. Stop saying I'm a cybernetic organism. You're not mental. <laughs> okay, so truth or dare. Blumhouse's Truth or Dare. I dare it to be a good movie. What? <laughs> oh shit. So I wanna I wanna get this out of the way really quick. I fucking adore and love Blumhouse for everything they are and everything they've done. Sometimes you get a scark in your underwear because you didn't write you didn't wipe so, right. So Truth Truth or Dare is the review we're doing now, and we'll do spoilers at the very end of it, but we actually we do have very differing opinions. Yeah, we do. We have uh, opinions on this movie. Okay, so um the main thing that I want to speak about in this uh atrocity. Wait. Of a film. Wait. What? We should do the plot first, Jay. I'm going to get there. Where are you going to? I, I let, wanted, me just, I let me want, just do the plot really I quick. I wanted the preamble. I was just going to do a really quick, easy plot. The Declaration so of Independence. Get us going easy, really easily. If what? You, Go ahead. If you saw get, the trailer and you don't know, it's pretty easy. Get the fucking plot. A group a, of graduating high school students who are about to go to college, <laughs> um, they go on a trip to uh, Mexico. Typical. To get drunk. Oh. And have sex. That's fun. They play this game of truth or dare, and once you start to play it... You can't end it, and if you don't do the truth or the dare, and you don't play the game right, then you'll die, and they all get caught up in it, and that's basically the storyline. Yeah, so, um, I feel like Thanos took over the world in this one. Like, uh, the Avengers were all dead, and I was left alone in the darkness. However, I had an ally in my darkness time. I I had my girlfriend that was watching it, and, uh, you know, she actually enjoyed it. Uh, I did not enjoy it. I, um... I don't know what it was, man. It, it was, it was, um, it was just fucking. What the fuck? When I like, I like, I did feel like when I was watching it, I felt like uh, the Black Panther song. I was like, "Who gonna pray for me? Save my soul for me?" Like, I, 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 I don't know. It just, it sucked ass, dude. And I, you know, I really gave them the benefit of the doubt. I, I thought going into it, it was gonna be more of a. Um, I knew it looked kind of corny or, or, or whatever watching the previews, but I thought it was going to be more along the lines of like a Final Destination, like stupid fun, like just having fun times with it. But then while I was watching it 45 minutes through, actually I take that back, before the fucking movie even started, when I saw eight-year-old little girls running into the movie, I'm like, up oh, there's my dick in my butt because now I know exactly what I'm in for. Because it's rated PG-13-1. And then when I was watching it 45 minutes So it was through, A Quiet Place. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean... But... John Krasinski. <laughs> but this one... This one just... I felt like what donkey asshole shit out this Degrassi episode that kept going. It felt like Degrassi versus fucking Pretty Little Liars. And I know the main girl was from Pretty Little Liars. And I felt this was... You episode, would know that. Well, I know that because my girlfriend told me. Okay, uh, but oh ep- my god, she tells me everything. Uh, but episodically, it felt like it felt like a Degrassi episode. Episodically, like categorized into one movie. And there were cool things about it, I suppose. There were moments about it. I'm like, okay, that could have worked in certain elements. But overall, um, I I don't know, man. Like they just they 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 sucked a big old wiener in this one. Let me get the bad stuff out of the way really quick. There's a lot of it. Uh, not as much for you gotta me. Dig through that There's not can. as much bad stuff in the way this for me. Like I, I went to see this. T- I, I, I made sure to go see this today at 4 p.m. because I did not want to go see this movie alone at seven or nine you with the high school crowd. Do that. So I went on Saturday at 4 p.m. Um, but, dude, I, I gotta say, the the worst things about this movie are this. Like if you're if you're wanting to go to the theater and you're wanting to see a movie that's gonna scare you, it's not going to scare you. It's not gonna scare anyone. Maybe the high school crowd. Not it, it's not a scary movie, all right. It's not, um, but uh, to me, this movie kind of goes into the same vibe as the Bye Bye Man did, as Wish Upon did we hate last Bye-bye year. Man. I didn't hate Bye Bye Man. Ba- what? Ba- Bye Bye Man sucked. Bye Bye Dude. Bye Bye Man <laughs> sucked. Bye Bye. But this was better than Bye Bye Man. But Bye Bye Man sucked. It was a terrible movie, but it was enjoyable because it was so bad. Wish Upon. From last year, if you guys remember that oh, one, no, oh that's God. a little bit closer for me because Wish Upon it wasn't good, it wasn't scary. Much like this is not scary, it's not memorable. But I feel differently about this movie than you do because I, I realize that this movie it's a high school horror movie. It's a movie that they particularly made to be a high school horror movie. It's not gonna scare adults. 
It's not going to be anything that is that memorable. But as a high school movie, which is what it was built towards, what what, what they made it for, I honestly like had a decent enough time watching it. Like it wasn't great, but it was. It, the story at least made sense to me. The story made sense. Mm. I, honest to God, thought that the actors in the movie did a good job. Like, I had no wow. problem with any of the acting. I had no problem with any of the acting. Bye Bye Man had terrible acting. Well, that was terrible acting. See, like, I, I liked the acting in this. I thought that the, the the high school college kids, I thought they each, every single one of them, I thought that they were decent enough that they did a good job. The movie didn't scare me. Not an ounce. Not for one second. It's not that memorable. It's just like a just like a popcorn movie. But honestly, dude, like it's just it's it was fine for me. Like, I, it was I, just like whatever. I, but it was I, still I, okay. I respect what you're doing, <laughs> and I respect what you've done. I mean it. But I don't think you did. I didn't have a bad time. But at all. I think at the same time, why did you smoke crack from Romero? <laughs> you know he's a piece did, of shit. But here, let me ask you. But this I, I, did you think it was going to be scary? I thought it might be. I just mentioned. I knew it wasn't going. No, no, no. Be. Going I, in. No, no, no. It's all bad. I thought it was going to be Final Destination type of fucking horror. I knew. It. Which, if if it was Final Destination type of horror, I'd be fine with it because I wasn't scared of Final Destination. I, I just thought it was unique and cool, or at least cool in some way. This was not cool. I've seen better acting in Golden Girls episodes. Like there what were, was bad about the acting. Like what was bad? Oh, about oh, the my. I, okay, let me point this out. Uh. Talk about a bad break. <laughs> a bad break. Okay, I watch this on my phone. I write fake prescriptions. Bad break. <laughs> I like that guy. And I thought he was actually kind of funny. I like I like fucking John John or where the fuck his name was better than him. <laughs> but and and the girl from Pretty Little Liars literally did not come out of the Pretty Little Liars. She was still Pretty Little Liars. It was She's not- like Carter did it. We got to run to his house. He lives down the street, even though he's in Mexico. But suddenly he lives down the street. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's find out the secret clue. Scooby Doo. Fuck you. <laughs> but it, like, it was terrible acting. I'll give you this: any movie, any horror movie, like Red Flag number one, any horror movie you ever go see, where they Google, where they have to, yeah, they go- found out everything, yeah, right? When someone, wow. when someone internet searches the cause and real and finds out like how to how to beat how to beat how death, to beat the, the, yeah, or, the curse, or whatever it is, the demons, it is yeah. a shitty horror movie. Not like, I, mean, I, 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 yes, not yes, to mention right. the fact that Marky fucking was like all like over it when she was like when they were researching how to beat this curse and Marky like was like you gotta google it and go to Facebook and send this message <laughs> get the fuck out of here you <laughs> motherfucker I felt like Mark Warburg like get the fuck out of here Nicole <laughs> get the fuck out of here Nicole Nicole, Nicole forever I swear to god Nicole fuck you, you Nicole. better not be doing this to me Nicole I was like, right now come on guys like I mean I was like have a little bit more of an effort have some respect I, I do I'm with you on that I, I'm with you on that. like the constant references to Snapchat yeah, and the filters they, like, like but the, but, but here's the thing. I go back to the same thing though. Like it was made to be that. It was this was a movie for high schoolers to go and talk loud during and be whatever. It was great. made to be that. But it, was, I, it wasn't made for us as 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 adults to go and see and be scared of. I'm not saying that they didn't market it to the the, the audience they wanted it. But then I'm going to say they marketed it the wrong audience. I don't think they, they did. Yeah, they did. Everybody dude. knew from the trailers this was not going to be a great they, but movie. But you know what? Final Destination, and I'm, I'm going to keep going back to that because that's my reference point right now because I'm fucking drunk. But I'm <laughs> going to go with that. But Final Destination, they were all high school students, right? They were seniors on their high school trip. And it was designed but to be... That was original. But no, it, uh, fine. But they took Truth or Dare and made a game out of it that could have been maybe possibly nah. something unique. Possibly, I never I thought know. it was going to be unique and good. Well, get get John Woo. Maybe, okay, I thought, John I, thought I thought maybe. No, not, did you ever watch Happy? John, it's not John Woo. What? I don't. Uh, did you ever watch Happy Death Day? No, I haven't. seen Okay, it. I thought I thought maybe this was going to be on the level. No, my girlfriend of, Cassie said Happy Death oh Day. Oh my god! I had to hit That's <laughs> five no. times, shit. Come uh, on. Twice. Uh, but I was like, okay, fine. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, listen. Listen to my face. God damn it. Just drink your beer. <laughs> okay, fine. She she likes Happy Death Day. You like Happy Happy Death Day. I've never seen it, but did it have the same kind of elements of bullshit it, in it? Happy Death Day was better than this movie because Happy Death Day had, the first off, the main actress in that movie was like, uh, she could have easily been in Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. She was fun. She was really over the top. Which the main that's, actress, that's by the way, the main actress in uh, in uh, Drag Me to Hell, mm-hmm. I, I have no idea why she's not huge. She was amazing in that movie. She was. That was but, a great movie. Uh, but the main actress in Happy Death Day was so good and so fun and crazy and all over the place. And that plot was just so batshit bananas that that movie w- was way better than this and it, and it and it surpassed like typical high school schlock horror movie 
because it was just it was fun and because of her performance and because of stuff like that. Like this movie didn't really just it just didn't have that. Well, I, well I'm, what I'm saying, I think the main problem I take away from this is that none of the characters, none of them in this film, I'm not saying they're bad actors necessarily. They sucked. They they fucking sucked a wiener in this because I feel like they represented every bullshit trope in a horror movie you could like every generic they thing they were supposed you, to no well it was no they, that I, was the script the, no these actors were trying to go for academy awards some of them they Aww. were like like there was one point where one of the girls were talking about how to beat the curse and i was thinking like freddy died by fire jason by water how can we use that it, it was, was not that bad yes it was dude <laughs> there was some atrocious was shit in the, yeah it was dude look i'm not saying that there weren't elements of it that were fun, and there were elements of it that were fun. Even the people that had the weird Jack Nicholson smiles that looked like they <laughs> just smelled a fart, and they knew they did it. Like I, mean, that, like fine, we can go with that. None of it was. Scary. But when they when they try yeah. to when they try to delve into the history of what, like the uh, girl and her dad. Yeah, I'm like, come on, guys. Like it just felt like a fucking Beverly Hills not to want to. <laughs> Luke Perry, Dananana, like Brenda, like it, it just felt, it just Brenda. felt like uh, the next episode we're gonna get the reveal. Like Brenda knew that my dad almost kissed me. Like it, it, it like it was a fucking, a, it was just, it was. Yeah, you're right. It was obviously catered to not even you say high schoolers. Uh, I'm going freshman year, uh, like freshman high. I'll schoolers. give you this. I'll give you this. Whatever the the. I'll, I'll call it this, even though it's technically not. Whatever the demonic force was forcing this game on these kids, they're cared low. They're low it, key. The, the, they're they're what, getting butt fucking hell. Whatever it was, <laughs> whatever it was, cared way too much about their um, uh, high school social life. Like it was yeah, like yeah. you want to sleep with Brenda, and I know it. So I'm gonna my evil game's gonna bring out to yeah, light. They were like, how bad you want to sleep? First with off, Brenda? I've been hearing from Stephen that you want to totally do it with. Fucking and, another, and another thing I'll agree with you on is that one of the main problems it does have is at least the first two or three dares were all in the trailer. Well, dude, here's they my really problem. They really were. That, that, that was... With, you should the, not have done that. Yeah, it was... It was dude, I mean, I, I you, you had a good time watching it. And I fought nobody... Not a great time. Well, I... I, I mean, fought, I didn't think it was good. Uh, well, I fought nobody for having a good time, but I felt like I was... Uh, you guys remember, you know, in the Infinity War trailer, when Captain America's catching Thanos' glove and he's screaming, that was me. I'm like, this is terrible. I just want to go see Rampage. See, I didn't find it. I wanted to go. I wanted to leave the theater, dude. I was, I was fucking close, dude. Within 55 minutes of that movie, I wanted to walk out of the theater and just go and fucking, <laughs> you know, cadaverous my way into a fucking uh, the Rampage movie and just eat it. Like I wanted to fucking like watch that movie and I had more you fun. Wanted to lick that white monkey. Taste. Yeah, I, I'd, lick, I'd lick the shit out of it. It probably tastes like white chocolate. But dude, I just, I just, it's all. I think for, I think, I think the different, the main, and I really do. I think the main difference between you and me going into this movie was expectation. I think it was, and movies do that. Well, man. We talked about Final movies. Destination. Movies are all about not destination but expectation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fucking I think, I think Tony Robbins. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> movies are. I think Tony Robbins, especially when it comes to horror, dude. I think movies are all about expectation and going into this i saw the reviews i saw the shit reviews i saw the trailer i didn't expect my the best possible outcome for this movie was happy death day like happy death day was the best possible outcome for this movie um and it didn't reach that like but but for this movie it was to me going into it i thought maybe it'll be a high school movie with some fun scream like vibes and it did not reach that potential no. it did not like it was not scary at all it wasn't original at all it was it was a bad it was not a good movie it's it's a bad movie but i i'm just saying for me and this is kind of how i put this movie in a nutshell for me as Nuts. far as <laughs> <laughs> With sixteen, <laughs> as far as as far as um, as far as bad, made for high school kids to to make out during pretty much in the that's movie what theaters. It is. That's what's made for movies. Yeah. Go, it's top of the line for that's a very low bar. That's a very low but bar. It's fucking. I'm below talking about, and bars. Dude, fucking no, good. I'm talking about. I'm talking about like. Like I know what you did last summer for like uh, those yeah, type of vibes. That's like, what I think that's I thought, where he is. Yeah. Here's what I think. I think the movie was. I think it was produced well. I think that the the, the cinematography was done well. I think that the movie was filmed really well. Get the fuck listen out of here! Listen to me. Listen to me. No, no, you gotta let me finish. <laughs> I think I, I think that for this type of movie, which is a shit box. It's a it's a shit box yeah, Taco it's a, it's, Bell shit box. Look, it's a shit box. Five dollars. In the in the if you put this in the sea of of all movies, it's a shit box movie. But for what this movie is, if you're gonna go watch 
a high school horror movie built for high schoolers. Like, it, it's the better version of those movies. Which, why, for me, the movie lands right at an even five. I put it right at a five on my rating scale because, you know what, I felt like there was a couple parts that were mildly entertaining. I thought that the actors and actresses actually did a good job with what they were handed. I thought I thought the storyline was stupid, and I thought the, the way it all panned out was dumb. And you I thought what? the PG thirteen kept yeah, kept in this that, case from there yeah, being any great see, deaths. Like, there was moments like when one dude sliced his own throat, you you saw like a, right. a drip of ketchup, right? I'm and, like, wow. And I thought the the focus on like like uh, that one. Do you really like, want to sleep with Joanne? Yeah. Like all that stuff. Yeah. It was bad. But I'm telling you, man. Like when I saw the the Bye Bye Man, or for our better, uh, and this is also a Blumhouse movie. Just so you know, I'm not full of shit. The Gallows is one of the worst pieces oh, of shit I've oh, ever damn. watched in my life. Well, I would watch this movie three thousand times before I ever watch The Gallows again. But that's not really putting because, much of a because, comparison because the production of this was done well and the, and and the acting was so much better. It wasn't found footage. It wasn't total schlock. Like. For me, this movie arrives right there with Wish Upon from last year, the mm-hmm. Ryan Felipe movie. Mm-hmm. It's right there with that. Like I thought it was entertaining enough. It was all right. It was tied together in a nice little bow. It was fine. It wasn't good by any means, but I don't. I just didn't expect anything from it, so I had a decent time. So uh, here's, well, here's what I'm going to tell you. If you want me to take a dump in a box and market guaranteed, <laughs> I will. I got spare time. I get it, yeah. Because that's pretty much what it is. You talk about a polished turd. It's, it's a smelly turd. And these movies should come out in, in January. It should not be the beginning of summer, right? It shouldn't be. These are, this is a January fucking yeah, it's, movie. It is. It's a it January is. movie, and it came out now. But like, if you're talking about movies that are that are shitty, horror movies that are shitty that you have a good time watching because they're shitty, I, I, but you're having a good time because the acting actually does make sense. Darkness Falls. Uh, House on Haunted Hill, The Haunting. Those those don't count. In this yeah, they movie. do because those movies were never they, those movies really weren't scary. They were like actiony ghost ship. Those thirteen ghosts. Well, those those movies are in the seven point realm. This is in the five point realm. No, this is a little below five for you. Uh, but I'm saying, but <laughs> like those are like to me movies that when you this, watch them, you're I'm, having a good time watching them. But I'm just saying like. It's an entertaining enough shitty movie. That's all I'm saying. Uh, well, for you, well you, you had a good time. It didn't anger me because I didn't expect anything. I, I wasn't angry. I was just like, yeah, I was, actually. Because I was like, you stole my <laughs> fucking money, you goddamn ticket taker. Like, I never thought about walking out. I'll put it that I way. I did. I, I, I came real close. Um, I was watching it, and within 55 minutes, dude, like within 55 minutes to an hour, I'm like, I'm sure Rampage is going on right now. The Rock, Muscles, were you not, Gorillas. Were you not? That's a big arm. Don't fight it. I know. Were you, <laughs> 27 <laughs> inches. Were, like, were you ever like? Were you ever interested to see how someone was going to die? No, because it, they they weren't even inventive, and there was no blood. There was nothing like a mount. The no. pool, the pool the, table. The, we saw that, that in the preview. You're right. We did. So the pool table. Good surprise there, Chief. The, the slit throat. No Bad. blood. Terrible. Uh, yeah. Terrible. What, what was the um, other one? Uh, oh, the girl sitting on the bed with her blonde hair. Like, I'm going to kill myself. I know where Carter uh, is. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to go. Well, there's not many spoilers to get into, so we'll get into the spoilers here very shortly. So w- w- let's just go with – so we can go in, into the kill territory. What, what's your rating? Oh, overall? <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't present it yeah, to me I, like you're going to fight. If I can give this fucking bitch <laughs> an eye for incomplete <laughs> – <laughs> it's not even a, it's not even a fucking grade. It's an I. I I'll give it um a two point oh. Really? Yeah, I that hate, low. I hated this fucking okay. movie. I really. I mean, and I'm not saying I, nothing against you guys that actually enjoyed it, and I'm sure you guys are out there. Uh, that no, that, I'm in. The, no, let me say this right now. No, that, I'm in the minority. Most people hate this fucking movie. Okay, like they do. so the ones that. But with you, with your piece of shit. <laughs> but no, the ones that actually like enjoyed it. That's cool, man. Like I get. No, I don't. But I understand <laughs> why you might have if you're going to look past certain things. But god damn, dude. Overall, I'm thinking of a, a spring movie that's a horror-related film that's not a January release. Uh, at least, in my opinion, decent actors that to portray that role. Like, you know, she... The girl, the main girl, was from Pretty Little Liars. Like, that's her main staple. I, I still have and, no idea what you're talking about. Pretty Little Liar. I don't know what the fuck that well, is. That's the thing. Uh, and there's also apparently one guy from Team Wolf. I don't know. I never. I, I only know Team Wolf from Michael J. Fox. But either way, that one guy, the one guy that she wanted to fuck, the the, the lead actress, looked like the, the he looked like BB Mac. 
Like, I just felt like he was the guy with the guitar. But anyway, uh, I get why some of you guys that are under the age of 18 might love it. But overall, man, like, watching this movie, and I read these posts, and it, it didn't influence me. It didn't influence me at all. Because, again, I went in thinking Final Destination 3 or something. You know, not not the first one. Because the first one, is it's, it's unique. Right. You know, it's got fucking Devin Sawa. I think Final, Devin Desti- Sawa. I think Final Destination was Devin Sawa. When, <laughs> was the studio's best hope. Yeah. Like, the, best the, the possible first, The first Final Destination, even the second one, yeah. Devin Sawa. Uh, it's, got, like, <laughs> it's got something unique about it. I was expecting at least a fun time at the theater. Uh, Final Destination 3 or 4, you know, just wanting the kills. Something unique and different. But then I forgot that it was rated PG-13. Go fuck me. And when I saw what they did... That's not always a death mark for a horror movie, though. No, it's not. But in this particular case, it killed it on the fucking spot. Hawkeye couldn't have hit a perfect bullseye if he tried. Yeah. But that's my opinion. No, it would have been way better if the kills were normal. More gra- like graphic. I mean, it could. It, you know what? Let me ask you this, though. Let what? me ask you this. Tell me this. Had this been not only rated R, mm-hmm. but had those kills been Gnarls Barkley, yes. would that... It would have increased been my score. Successful? Yes, it would increase my score. And I'm not saying you know I can get that. We I can just go there. we just we just released the review of um <sighs> Driving Miss Daisy? Yes. No. What was the one with Terrifier? Called? Terrifier. And and <laughs> the the other side yes. of the film? That was that was that was the dark, dark part. That was the part that was the burnt pancake side. <laughs> uh that's too much. But adding in elements from that you know, with as far as the graphicness of the film, or even hostile. I think just Final Destination, or just hostile. Yeah, uh, it might have made it different because at least you could talk about the death scene and be like, "Oh, I'll remember that forever." The, the acting was atrocious, but the death scenes, I'll take it with me. But they didn't have that. But either way, if it had been that, my my score would have been higher. Like, I found it weird for me watching this movie, dude. That like I didn't connect with these kids on an emotional level where I actually like cared. I wasn't emotionally moved ever, mm-hmm. ever. Like, let me make that be really clear. Like not once was I like, oh, good. I wasn't good. All right, that'd be weird. I wasn't, <laughs> but I was interested enough. Like I didn't like. Well, I put it this: I didn't hate anyone. Like mm-hmm. I didn't hate anyone in this movie. Like right. I didn't. I didn't hate even. Uh, Give in to your hate look. I didn't hate any of them, man. Like like when they died, I didn't care. But I didn't hate him. Like, I was just totally right in the middle of this movie. Like, I watched it. It happened. It was what it was. I wasn't disappointed, really. I, I certainly wasn't impressed. I just, I don't know, man. It's it, it's it's one of those weird movies. So you're, let me being, ask you this. you're like, optimistic. Let me ask you this. Wish Upon. You remember Wish Upon? Yes. No. With Ryan Felipe. Ryan Felipe was the dad, and he was trash diving, and the girl had the, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, Dybbuk yeah, yeah, box. Yeah. That was a better movie than this. You thought that was better than this? Better, I, thought, I thought this was right this. there with that. No, like, better than this. I thought it was right there. Ryan Phillippe. But I thought that this movie, like, I, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't hate anyone. Like, normally in this movie, like, the Bye Bye Man, like, I hated half the characters in that movie. That movie is weird because it was so bad it was almost good, but, like, the characters in that, like, I couldn't stand them. You know oh, what? let me put this, uh, here's okay. a better one, Go here's ahead. a better one. Give me. Texas Chainsaw, me. Cha- Texas Chainsaw Massacre prequel 3D with, uh, you know, remember when we saw that? Like... Let me your chainsaw, cousin. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Like I fucking hated the people. That was in that, movie. that was terrible. Movie. I hated the people. That was terrible. Movie. You like this one better than that one at least? This one. No, no. This because, one at least no. had a plot you could follow. No, I, I, I actually like the tech because at least Leatherface was fucking in it. If you had given me a shitty, I don't even remember Leatherface. Yeah, but he was in it. If you had given me a fucking shitty Michael Myers movie, I'll take that over this. And well, I mean today. Michael Myers. Michael. I'll take Resurrection over this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on. Well. Because Michael Myers for is that opening like, scene alone, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it was, I, like I just, I just, I don't know, man. Like I didn't expect it to be good. You had fun, man. You had fun time. I watching. wouldn't call it fun. Well, I, you had, you had a decent. time. I, honest to God, like I just, I got bored like twice. Like and, and for this movie, me, like that was better than. Let I me expected. let me ask you a question. Could you take uh, your daughter to go see it? Memphis. No, there's too much sex. No, because like no, I'll let my no, they no, don't do that. Let me paint you a picture of how I am with my eight year old. Like I'm fine with her seeing death, chop off heads, cut up body parts, curse. You could even say the Depending c word on the curse word. You can call someone a cunt. Wow. Yeah, I'm fine with Gotta it. Gotta be careful. But if there's any sex at all, I'm like close your. No, we're not watching that. Well, they only the, there's the, the one scene. Yeah, so yeah, going into spoilers. So going into what's your rating though? That is it. Three point. Oh, three. I think it was. 
I think it was lower. Last, I think it was two last time. Two. Okay, it was two. I I don't remember. I I give it a five. I think it's right down the middle. Like I just I didn't hate it at all. I didn't. It wasn't good. I didn't hate it. Um. But okay. So going into spoilers now, like this. I don't even know where to go with this. No, movie. okay, I, 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 I got this. I got this. Nothing matters. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we as people? Who are we as people? We're trying to live a life in the world. Look, one interesting scene, though. One interesting scene when the one girl. I like this girl. Like I cared about. I her. like John John. Uh, well, I like the asshole guy. By the way, I like the, John, one, the, the one, one that was like rapey. I don't. John no, John. At the, no, you're talking about Ron Ron. Ron Ron. Of course you liked Ron Ron, you douche. No, because he was the only real one. Ron Ron was a fucking douche. <laughs> he was a real one. And then you got Daniel Radcliffe, who's like, I don't know, I was just trying to be a cool guy. Oh, like, that guy. Yeah. And then, Charlie, like, why would you follow that guy to his weird like hut anyway? Because she was horny. I, yeah, she was the worst, by the way. She was because, so like, horny. Because the main girl is like, oh, I'm such a good girl and Habitat for Humanity and all this stuff like that. And they're like, and then oh. she goes to Mexico, it's like, I want a fucking Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second the second she gets there, the, the first guy that shows her attention, she's like, I'll follow you into the dark. And she goes up to this fucking weird hut and, and whatever, and, and, and they find the, the, hut. the Dybbuk box. It, it, it was a fucking mission. But yeah, it was, <laughs> she was she was a shitty all the way around. So, right okay, so the, 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 the spoiler of this, the main thing about this movie. Everyone the wants reason to why, fuck that girl, and that's why everyone's life sucks. And that's why Pretty Little Liars went off the air. So, the main reason why this is going on... <clears throat> The main reason is because back in the day, when they had <laughs> nuns and priests and shit at oh this my. M- mission in Mexico, <laughs> I know, I was wishing I was there, um, one of them summoned a demon, because they're fucking bored, I guess, they summoned a demon, they were playing Truth or Dare, no, 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 wait a minute, am I wrong? I don't, I don't know, it is. Okay, okay, I, look, well, you like the movie, and I'm trying to remember the... Like, okay, so, no, no, no. Okay, I get it. Okay, no, whether I, I liked it or not, it's all okay, a giant so who gives a fuck. They summoned a demon back when the mission was like still operational back in the eighteen thousands. Jim Jim. And uh, what happened is this demon came out. It possessed the nuns. One of the nuns killed people and the priest or whatever. One nun got the the nun that actually summoned it cut out her own fucking tongue as a sacrifice. Put it in a jar. Stayed that way forever. The curse was contained. Then these partiers come in from America, you pay stuff shit, and they come in there, they're, they're, they're playing games, they knock over the, um, the jar containing the tongue, they release the demon, they start playing Truth or Dare, the demon wants to get wise, and like, I'm just going to possess the game of Truth or Dare. And you they open go the there. box, we came! Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey guys, I'm not going to lie, at the end of this movie, I felt like I had just said pain to Pinhead, and he walked down the aisle, I was like... Pain. How dare you use that word? Exquisite. He was, he was the fucking, uh, he was the film talking to me. Pinhead was the film talking to me. He was like, I am Pan. Like, uh, it was a terrible movie. So, after after the the curse is released, it 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 it, it uh, possesses the idea of truth or dare. It affects Charlie Neal. <laughs> it affects Charlie Daly whatever the fuck you know the main guy and his group and they all start dying he infects another group that comes over as vacation and the game continues the game continues because the demon continues through the game wow you guys really fucking busted your butts <laughs> on that one there's so many things to go into here but I just I don't want to I don't no 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 no. I can't remember all of them either I just I remember from the, even from the opening scene though it was like that girl's like she was so cool about it like she walks up and she's like the, the guy that registers like she's like can I have some Marley's like just call Marbles <laughs> she got oh is that what she was asking yeah, for she was like, like yeah. Marley's yeah and they even looked, they had the same bullshit font bullshit is that they had the same comic sense they had the same font but she's like huh. look at so she's like yeah, and then she goes <laughs> and like, she just like nonchalantly walks over and lights this bitch on fire she's like huh? like first off well, I thought, why didn't you choose truth? But I guess that was her time in line. But no, 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 no death no. scenes. No, no, yeah, death so scenes. You gotta have two like, truths. I know. I fucking fuck it. Two truths. Death scenes. Um, no, no. The, the pool table death scene was pretty cool, even though it was in the trailer. That's it. The one scene I the, there was the it was the, you know they did fuck up with the trailers. They showed too much of the trailers. 
You got the asshole kid who I liked because he was like, so what did he do? Which, which asshole kid? The one who watched the, the, the video the of his friend dying again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, talk about a bad break. <laughs> <laughs> he stabs himself in the eye, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, and then like he he dies, but then his girlfriend. I actually liked his girlfriend a lot. She just drank too much, which I identify with. All right. So yeah, walk a the, ledge. The, the, walk a ledge. I could do that the, in my the, sleep. The Indian chick, right? Yeah. I liked her character. I know, but if you were she if you were nice. dared, if you were dared, she liked strong mojitos. If you were dared to drink a bottle of uh, Maker's Mark and walk the ledge of your roof without I can, falling? Yeah. I would do that in my sleep. Look, I'm seasoned. <laughs> right? I'm seasoned. I can make that happen. I, I would tell that demon Kleenex. What was his name? Put that Kleenex. Se- Kleenex. Uh, no, I like okay. So he's that, like, he's that guy on those cheap, no. uh, uh, those cheap fucking rehab courses. Like, call me right now. Like, if I looked at myself in the mirror and and, and I was smiling back at myself like that, it's like walk on the edge of your roof. I've been here Dr- before, like <laughs> drinking beer. Like, I've had Nicko Bolter. <laughs> so, yeah. So you say that, but no, if it but was vodka, you'd be but, fucked. No, but no, I wouldn't. I'd be like, I'm not gonna lose to a guy named Kleenex. <laughs> I know his name was Look, Kleenex. Dude, that but scene, whatever it was. that fucking scene was good. Like that scene was good. I, the dude, it was they were dumb as shit. It okay, was inventive. So they have they have a mat. They have a fucking bed spring. So? They put it on a fucking spiked fence. They're like, that's not gonna work. I'm like, obviously not, you stupid bitch. It was entertaining. Bitch. Like, look, she had to get no, it wasn't she even had to get drunk for the uninitiated. She had to get drunk. And, and like, she's an alcoholic, which you know, they're not. She's not. She's I get, going through. No, a bad she was an alcoholic. She's going through a bad patch. And was an alcoholic. <laughs> she was. The de- she lost her boyfriend. The, dick. the fucking dibbit box makes her go up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I was <laughs> laughing a little bit. <laughs> it, makes, it makes it makes her. It no. makes, Listen, shut the fuck up. No. It makes her chug a bottle and walk around the roof in circles. Do you know and what? Then, okay. But, and, and her friends, meanwhile, they're right. good friends. They're right? helping her out, yeah. They're chasing her around the roof trying to like, put Baby down. Matt comes up and is like, right. no matter what, I'll catch you. Yeah. And then the girl rams the fence, which was stupid as fuck, because when she ran the rent- fence, it shook the house and almost dropped her Yeah, I know. But that was, I thought that was an entertaining scene. Really? Yeah. I didn't feel like It's it. interesting as fuck. Did I, you do it? I, no. Hell no. Can I just, can I get to my point? My point was being, is like, that would be what me and Mike would just do on an everyday normal I mean, thing. Yeah, sure. Like, let's get drunk and walk on the roof of your house. <laughs> like, uh, hey, I got You want to get lit and jump off your parents' roof? Yeah, now you're talking. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that would be, like, literally, um, yeah, I could totally see us doing that. Like, we'd be like... Hey, dude, I dare you to fucking drink this fucking beer <laughs> and chug it while you're walking around the edge of the house, and I'm not going to help. I hope you die. Yeah, but it was a bottle of vodka, so. I would still do Way it. Way different. We'd still do it. But I'm just saying. But I know. Okay, but you don't know, look. Okay, so. It was entertaining. No, it wasn't. It's mildly. It was shitty. It was mildly entertaining. She falls on the roof of the fucking truck and hit the springs look, if you of the bed mattress. See, if you went to see this movie and expected to be scared, I get why you're pissed. I went to see this movie expecting a shitty high school horror movie, and I got a shitty high school horror movie that managed not to piss My, me off. It didn't piss me. Not one point in this movie did I get pissed. I was... And I, that's why I gave it a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm no you're fuckers. You're castle. You have no fuckers. <laughs> you have no fuckers. I'm just saying. No, okay. I'm not saying I'm not. I have no chips in my pocket. Dude, that's so salty. You fucking got butt fucked last night, didn't you? Uh, no, I have no salty chips in my pocket. This is every prisoner that gets the jail first. Uh, no, like. <laughs> no, you know what? I, um. I I wasn't mad at the film. I I think that the main thing was is after watching it, I was like, I think that if they marketed more more towards high schoolers, I'd be like, I'm not gonna waste my money. And I ignored the messages on Facebook that was like, don't waste your money on this hot garbage, because at the end of the night when I walked out, I was I'm I, little guys. I don't have a lot of money. Okay, that was expensive for me. <laughs> I had to pay for things. Spoiler alert. I had to pay for things. <laughs> and when I walked out and I looked over at the ticket ticker, I was like, you fucking thief. <laughs> I was so pissed off because I could have used that $18 that I spent on two tickets for beer or whatever else or fucking Uno. With I spent it on this. And I walked out like, I'm $18 lighter because... You're a piece of shit. Look, liar. I'll tell you that right now. Don't I? I wouldn't. Bring Don't it. do I, not. Look, I wouldn't recommend that. someone going to. No, unless Don't waste your money. Look, unless you're a horror fan who has nothing else to go see, I don't think I'll have that bad of a time. Not even a horror fan. But if you're expecting a great moment and a great experience, a great moment, you're not going to get it. 
You know, I would even recommend a horror fan to go see this. Wait till this <gasps> bitch comes out. I would Netflix, if you're bored. If you're, or Redbox. Look, I'd say... Or you, steal it on the internet. Yes. If you expect it to be shitty and you're a horror fan and you're bored and it's an afternoon, go see it. Sure. Yeah. I'd go see Rampage. I haven't seen Rampage, so I can't say that. I, neither have you. After this? So neither can you. Rampage. I, There's giant fucking look, monkeys. Dude, CGI fucking monkeys fighting versus and the Rock telling them, "You smell a while I'm cooking." CGI. I got I got monkeys. CGI smiles. Like I, I don't know. I can't even remember really a memorable. Does that, did, 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 like, did you laugh? Did you it. laugh? Uh, did you laugh at any part when they smiled? Because you know you're thinking about farts. Actually, dude, I'm gonna be. I, no, <laughs> you're I know. You think about farts. I know. I I was actually. Each smile scene, I was a little torn between laughing and kind of being freaked out. There was something about the smiles that kind of freaked me they out. They didn't freak me out. Like, I wasn't scared. I'm just saying, like, the weird smiles, like... I think you... By the way, the blonde chick, when she smiled, she actually looked hotter. Is that yeah, weird? Yeah, I do. Is that I, weird? I know it's not, because I kind of see it. Yeah, I liked her from as, angle. I liked from her the as side angle. Kleenex the Demon. Yeah, I did. I, I was into I like it. Kleenex. Yeah. I love Kleenex. But yeah, she did kind of look cuter. But, you know... uh Look, guys. Your dad uh, tried to make out with me. And he killed himself. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he should have killed himself. A piece of shit. He, 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 he lost a scholarship. You can't go. Uh, you know what? You know what? What made me mad about that scene though? When she revealed that you know her deep dark secret was, I was like, that's not even deep dark. I mean, he's like, that was pretty deep dark. I mean, if that was realistic, that's that's as yeah, deep maybe, dark but as it gets. I was like, you know, he was rapey and he tried to rape me, and I told he him was, to go he fuck was off. He was Kevin Spacey in American Pie. American Beauty. <laughs> Let's get that straight. <laughs> And uh, Kevin Spacey would never lower himself For down. For you, Ted, I've got five. He would never lower himself down to a piece of shit like her. <gasps> um, but, you, you know, either way, um, I didn't like it. <laughs> no shit. And you guys you guys that out there that loved it, you know, God be with you and, and ever all, all your glorious Let's, things that you do. It's in the vein of at least trying to give us some spoilers, because it's hard to remember. I, but in the vein of at least trying to give us some spoilers... Can we at least talk about the end of it? So they Google it. Oh, yeah. And man. then they go so visit stupid. this chick in Mexico. Oh, okay. Which, by the way, don't go, bungee ju- don't go bungee jumping in Mexico. They just don't have the regulations. Never. But Do they have those? So they find the chick in Me- Mexico, and she's like, I don't speak because I don't have a fucking tongue. So. Well, you didn't know that until after she. Should. Right. She goes, ah. So. The ba- most CG yeah. fucking cut off tongue ever. Basically, through Google that, and through visiting a chick on a trailer, they realize. That the only way to stop this from happening is to find asshole, the asshole, cheap version, Colton, Daniel Radcliffe, <laughs> Colton, bring his, his name's not Colton, bitch ass. By the way, I thought it was funny that when they found him, like weeks later, he was still wearing the same clothes. No, dude, <laughs> that, no, 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 no. Not only did they find him weeks the later, same shitty Union lived, Bay button up. He lived five minutes from the road. <laughs> <laughs> he lived down the and road. And the cops didn't care. They're no. like, you know what? We're cops. Oh, by We're the just way, let you sort this by out. By the way, the the detective, the lead detective. Was the cheapest man version of Danny Glover I've ever seen in sure. my life. But he was like, like you know, we know you kids are killing yourselves. We just want to let you do your thing. Yeah, <laughs> but you guys have a good time. So get she, balloons. she goes and finds the guy because basically they got to get the guy who started it, and he has to cut out his own tongue and put it in a wax vase. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> to the <laughs> it was always burning. <laughs> Summer's on my coming times. Ah, come on. This movie's so stupid. So they have to go get this kid, and he has to cut off his tongue while the burning. It's so, it's so, touch that gun, I'll burn you down. Yeah, he's so stupid. <laughs> cut off your tongue. He has to cut off his tongue. While, no, he try, he's trying Yeah, to. they have to get him to sacrifice his tongue, and then they go they go and get him. Well, that guy's like, it's his turn. He's not done yet. <laughs> so that was the stupid as far as like. So at the end of the movie, they run off together and they yeah. they're carrying the curse. No, shut the fuck up! I haven't gotten there yet. Well, I did. What's fucked up is that the whole movie <laughs> they built up this thing where she was like, "Me or you, or you or the world, I choose you." Oh god, her and the best friend. Please not. Even though they're like the worst friends ever, we would never be good. She's good like, friends. "Me or you, I choose you versus the world." Which, good. by the way, I'd let you die for the world. I would okay? die. I would. I just want you know. I would. You'd already be dead for like one person. So this girl who's been the good girl all along. <laughs> at the very end of it, they realize. Um, she, it was kind of cool, actually, how she tricked the really? demon. She, well, she tricked the demon. Really? She, listen to the fucking shit. She tricked the Loki. demon into truth, <laughs> and, and the demon Kleenex is like, is like, she's like, it's she's Kleenex. like, how do we get out of this game alive? And the demon's like, there's no way to get out of this game alive. You're fucked. 
You lost the scholarship. You can't go. <laughs> you said that like three times. I know. I, get I can't go. If I you haven't watched the past, you don't get it. But so she. Tricks, oh, you play. She, <laughs> she tricks the fucking demon, and the demon's like, "There's no way out." So she looks at her friend, and she goes, "I choose you." And then the next thing you know is apparently this chick. This this part's stupid. I'll give you that. Apparently this chick has the greatest YouTube channel of all time, and everyone in the world's watching. Oh yeah. And she. It, to save her friend from dying, she instead live stream because if you ask from this abandoned church, then every then that's where the game takes place. Yeah. Everyone has to listen. So she goes on her YouTube channel and she says to the world, "Truth or dare." And now the whole world's watching. In Even fact, the Dalai Lama and Kobe Bryant are all watching. <laughs> and and the, and now the whole world's infected, so that she doesn't have to let her friend die. And then the movie ends. So basically, Olivia go. is the worst YouTuber of all time. Even worse than Logan Bryant. Or Logan who, Bryant. Logan Dickface Suicide Force Logan guy. Logan Bryant. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. At the end of the movie, I would have rather gone with Garth and Wayne's. Like, just do it, Wayne. When let's, they're driving off a cliff, let's run away. Let's just no. I mean, when they're driving, they do that Thelma and Louise thing. Like, yeah. dude, I would have rather gone with that ending. Um, yeah. How the fuck? And by the way, there's one scene uh, when she's broadcasting, quote unquote, all of the world, and all of a sudden she has millions of viewers. <laughs> Did you see that part when the people that were in London, that was a green screen behind them? It obviously was a green screen. No, when they're in London, there's the uh, Tower of London or the clock, and it's uh, you can see the edges <laughs> of the fucking green screen. You're like, wow. You really went all out there, didn't you, Michael Bay? <laughs> anyway, man, um, this movie sucked ass. Uh, it, yeah. it sucked so much taint. Yeah, it did. So much I, so much ball juice was look, dripped in your mouth. This is the only difference between me and you in this whole movie. Like, we both agree it wasn't good. Like, I just think that it was... You had way more fun. ...slightly serviceable. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't even say I had fun. I was just like, that was that. I. It was like, I don't know. This is like your. This is a, this is a movie like your friends talking you t- into going to a massage parlor and asking for a happy ending. But instead of getting a real happy ending, you're getting a fat fucking sumo wrestler to like no, lay look, on your face. Look, like I got a massage and it sucked, but at least it wasn't a finger no, no, no. in my butt. It's a sumo wrestler in your face. I don't feel like I got a finger in the butt. No, I just got, got a shitty got, massage. You got an ass crack in your face. Oh, that, that was, was a man. No, that'd be at least a three. That was a man. <laughs> 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 anyway. Uh, difference of opinions. Uh, what do you guys think? You uh, guys most think? people are going to agree with you. I think most people expected this to be a little bit better than I did. I just I thought it was going to suck. Good for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you fight? How far do you go back in time? <laughs> so comment down below. Let us know what you guys thought. Let, let me ask you guys this. As a question of the day. What did you think your rating was going to be going in? And then what was your final rating after you That's watched it? That's a good it? question. I was I was thinking 6.0 and I I dropped on two. I was thinking 6.0 and I I, I dropped on five. You're a fucking piece of shit. Sellout. I just thought I mean you're a sellout. Look, dude, and I I, 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 I will say this. <laughs> I thought the the premise is insane and it makes no sense and there's nothing special about it at all. But I genuinely do think that the actors and actresses were not annoying. I didn't hate really? any of them, and I thought they all did a decent job. Carter did it. He's down the road. Let's go right now. Okay, okay. Where's the police? Really? Given what they had to deal with, I thought the actors and actresses were well served. I thought they did a good job. God bless you. <laughs> with your hopes and dreams. They it's not like they were these. given the 12 Angry Man script. I just thought they did okay with what they had. Okay. Well, I'll go with that. If that's what you want to go with, I'm not going to go and, with and, it. And remember this at the end of the day. I will say this, and I don't think many people will understand this or, or grasp it, but this movie was made for high school kids who were on Snapchat during the movie. Like it just was made for them. And I thought for adults or people interested in seeing a great movie, it ended up being below serviceable, but it was, it wasn't made for us. It it just wasn't made for us. I just think that, you know, the fact that they had Blumhouse backing them. Well, Blumhouse is not, no, 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 I mean, I know they do great things, but I know can't rain all the time. Can't rain all the time. I felt like the crow leaving this movie. I really did. When I walked out of the theater, I had a white fucking face with like lines in my eyes. I'm like, I will bring justice to the world. I thought, I think this, I think Blumhouse was going for a, a movie to service merely the high school crowd, and they couldn't come out and say this is for no one else except for the high school crowd because that would be movie suicide. Yeah. They made a movie for the high school crowd, and I think for what Blumhouse was going for, and he said it himself, he's like, I'm proud of the movie we made. 
I think for what they were going for, they succeeded, but most people expected something better. And we just, I think the world had higher expectations than this movie ever deserved to have. I'm That's sorry, awesome. man. I just can't go there with right. you anymore. All right. all right. Most people will agree with you. But I'm just going to no, say that right now. No, that's fine. It, it doesn't matter. Like, if you guys. You're in the popular it. vote. You're, you're in am. the popular vote. I was am. No. But you're yes. in the popular vote today. I have <laughs> no. a big surprise. Huge surprise. Huge surprise. No, I look, look, guys. Um, and the, like just talking about it as a movie, um, don't waste your time. Okay, do not spend money and go see this piece of shit. You know what? You're a piece of shit, and I'm ashamed of you. Don't go see it. I, I had a. Great- I, I'm I, I'm saying like you you know what? You can have a great time if you were watching it on Netflix or Redbox. Like you do not need to spend your fucking money at a theater to go have a good time. You can go watch this with friends. I've, I've seen movies that I've watched on Netflix that piss me off so bad that they. They made me mad that I... I don't know. I, I thought Veronica? it was better than like... It's better than Veronica? Veronica? Well, Veronica... W- mm, Look, dude. Not. Let me put it this way. <laughs> Veronica not. was a better movie. But I was more entertained watching this. Yeah. Movie. Well, you know what? Look, at the end of the day, uh, we have different opinions. Damn, you had to do that to me, didn't you? I know. Because Veron- people love Veronica. I know. I, we, you uh, and I both fucking hate that movie. I know. I put your fucking splatch on the spot. God damn it. But you know what? Um... Uh, it's a difference of opinion, but you guys might love it, you guys might hate it. Look, it was American Pie 3, the horror movie. <clears throat> I can, can go, you go there. I can go there. I can go there. It's American Pie. But it wasn't American Pie Band Camp, the horror movie, which is, I no, feel no, like no. what you think. But I, I, no, no, no. I would, I would say, I, I think that what they... Stifler's were, Revenge. Yeah. I think that <laughs> if they had gone rated R with it, it might have been a different story. I don't know. I think if they had gone rated R, it could have been Final Destination 2. 3. Okay. If I <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 3 at least. But anyway, um, check it out. See what's going on. Uh, actually, don't check it out. Uh, Michael say go check it out. I'll uh, say if, watch if, it if, if you're, you're bored. Drunk, if you're drunk, look, go see it. I say watch it if you're bored. Go to a matinee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking you know, whatever. Whatever. Either way, uh, comment down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think this was the worst thing since? Fucking pisses me. No, no, no. Since I already know everyone's the gonna Green Ranger it. took over. I know everyone as gonna... the leader of the Power Rangers. I... First off, I didn't think it was that bad because Green Ranger is the number one. Look, don't blame me for having the forefront to go into this movie knowing better than all of you what to expect. But I know everyone's gonna no, no, agree no. with you. No, no, I'm no, just saying. No, no, no. Don't even fucking say that, dude. Because we've gone into <laughs> movies before thinking it was gonna be great. No, to, to be fair, we both thought the Baba Man was gonna. Yeah, be Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> we I, I want to move from that. Like, we were in therapy together to get over this, and you're bringing it up again. <laughs> Fuck you, Sheila. Uh, anyway, guys, comment good. down below. Uh, we love doing this podcast. We love fucking talking about this. Podcast number 18,000. I don't know where we are now. You guys have a great special night, and do not go see this movie if you can help it. If you do, according to Mike... Unless you're bored. Yeah, if you're bored, go see it. Good. It's, it's like, it's not, it's not fireworks, but... If you get those, get those dudders. Yeah, those fireworks <laughs> that just go... They're wet. Pew! They're wet. Yeah, those, <laughs> those little ground those fireworks. Little wet ones. Yeah, it's like that. There'll be a spark there. Uh, but we still love Blumhouse, and we still think that... Halloween Blumhouse is going to be, be Yeah, Blumhouse awesome, is fine. So. This is not their fault. We love your fucking faces, and if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and uh, get, get some... Get some... God damn wham opinions. God damn them! Mike! God damn wham! Shimmers. 15. You ever seen that scan in head, scene in Scanners where that guy's head explodes? What? what? Just stop it. Just end the film. End it! No, dude, no. Sa-dem-a. <laughs> we watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. You know what? We can review. We watched a movie.